Hi guys, so I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. I'm actually, I'm going to make sure that you can really quick. I'm going to pause it. Alright. So, I decided to make this presentation while I'm in here waiting to be uh, cared for. This is something I've been developing over the past couple of days. So um, I wanted to talk about how to find success in the beauty industry. Um, I thought this would be relevant mainly for um, people who have completed beauty school and are not in the industry but would like to be in the industry. And for people who have not gone into beauty school but they have an interest in hair, they may do it. Um, but it hasn't become a completely part-time thing or a full-time thing yet. So, and they want to know, like, what steps can they take to make it such. So, I specifically made sure that I pointed out without being popular or having tons of money to throw at advertising because that's how it was for me. I'm not popular and I didn't really gain clientele from Facebook advertising or anything like that. It was all organic and free methods. So these are things that are easily duplicatable that um, I would love to share. Now, the only um, thing I would say is a must is just some work ethic because this stuff is not easy. I'm the type of person, you see what I'm doing now, I'm in the hospital, but yet I'm making a presentation. So I don't stop working. I work until I pass out. I fall asleep with my laptop open a lot of times with books on the bed, with papers <laughs> and pens next to me. So I'm not saying you have to be like that, but you definitely have to have a work ethic and um, you have to put in the work to get the results if you're going to do it without money or without pop popularity or like social pool to get you your results. All right. So this is me. This is, um, this is my salon and I am the owner of Diamond Venom Artistry LLC. As you can see, also Diamond Venom Braiding Studio and DBA Boss Lab. Now, all of these things came to be um, within the year, actually. I went full-time with Brayden last year. That's why I felt like this would be relevant because all these things I've achieved have happened in a matter of 12 months. Now, my actual journey started over 10 years ago, and I'll get into that in a second, but it's possible to get the results. Um, I know you guys have seen the memes that say, six months of hard work can put you five years ahead. It's definitely true because it happened for me. So I'm here to share how that can happen um, for anyone who would like to know and achieve similar results. This is the training space. I have um, other pictures. There's, it's rearranged at the moment, but um, this facility, um, I decided to come up with the boss lab because I wanted to create a space for people to build their own brand and for it to be an incubator that would take them to the next level in their career. Like you build your brand inside of here. We help you with the resources, um, with the training, hands-on skills training, whatever you wanna learn when you come in. Um, you know, you choose what it is. We have tiered packages to choose from, but um, we help you with skill set first. And then after skill set, we help you with developing your brand, your niche, standing out from the crowd, and then actually getting your clients in the door and um, becoming solid and self-sufficient. And then once you have that down pack, we help you expand, um, add on to your offerings, your service offerings, or add on retail, um, accessories, whatever, and build you a solid brand so that you can be sustainable when you go into your own space as in a salon suite or your own salon. These are some of the examples of classes that have been held so far at the Boss Lab. We have another one coming up October the 17th, which is a Knotless Braids class. If you are interested in attending, you can inbox me directly. You can respond to this post, um, or you can go to the DBA Boss Lab page. You can join our group, Dreamcatcher Society, um, but you can get more information. Definitely, it's coming up on the 17th of the month. All supplies are included, refreshments are included, and you will complete a full hairstyle on your client. So definitely bring a live model if you're interested in attending. This is me now. These are the things that I do. Um, I do healthy protective styling. Um, every service includes shampoo treatment, optional trim, 
prior to styling and um, hair is included, luxury lashes are included. And this is my niche. This is my thing that sets me apart. I do the healthy hair care with my services. So a, a major thing that you have to do is you have to find your niche, find your thing that you're going to do. But you also have to find a way to stand out and be different. I didn't start here, but I was always pretty decent. This was me. I did my own hair. My brand used to be Desi Krishan Beauty, named after myself. But I changed it because I wanted it to kind of represent itself and stand on its own feet versus being something that was like off of me. And then if people didn't like me, oh, I don't like her and you don't even know me, but you choose not to shop with me because of my name. So I decided to make it something that was separate from myself, that the work could speak for itself. But even back then, I had something unique that helped me stand out, which I did a lot of ombre hair color. And I thought that would be eye-catching. This was before ombre was popular. It didn't really gain traction, but it's a way that you could stand out now if you want to find a unique way to put yourself out there. This is also me. I've always done my own hair. That was one way that I set myself apart. Um, I didn't do my own hair in high school, this picture that you see in the bottom. Um, that's when I learned how to do my own hair. But, you know, braids, natural hair care. That has always been my thing. Now, I didn't get the ability to stand out until 2011 when I trained with this really talented um, healthy hair specialist. She changed my life. She taught me everything about healthy hair, products, um, processes, how to cleanse the hair properly, scalp manipulation, hair treatments, growth treatments. I applied color. Like It was a hands-on crash course in hair care. And she was the bomb. We were busy from 7 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. I made a minimum of 1200 a week with her. She was booming. And so being with her really impacted my life. And that's what inspired the creation of the Boss Lab. I wanted to give other people the opportunity to have that kind of training experience. So I'm passing the torch, kind of um, paying it forward, giving the expertise that I've gained from her. Because that's what sets me apart and helps me to charge a premium with my services is the hair care portion, my understanding of hair care. So at the Boss Lab, we teach um, infection control, which is a must, so that communicable diseases are not shared or spread. We teach um, healthy hair care. We also teach the actual style. Then we teach business. And then we teach clientele building, finding your niche, finding your voice in a saturated market. And... We give you a space to actually work in so that you can grow your brand um, and then, you know, become a solid entity. Okay, this was my mobile setup when I worked at home. There's nothing wrong with working at home. I've been a stylist for like 10 plus years, and this was my setup. I had a mobile sink that could hook into people's sinks. I always used um, healthy products, especially once I learned what products to use from a system. My, um, the woman that I apprenticed with, she was amazing, but I carried all of my tools with me. I had clean towels, um, uh, sanitation tools, um, containers for my clean implements, my dirty implements. And I just was really professional. So that's something I would say you definitely, it doesn't matter where you are. It's not about where you are. It's about who you are and what you're bringing to the table. I've been professional from the beginning, I always had a certain aesthetic about the way I wanted to deliver my service, and I was consistent with that. So that's helped me grow my brand. Um, some, A lot of my clients have said that, ones that have been with me down through the years, they're like, girl, I knew you were going to get a salon because you said um, you were going to do this, and you had this same like high-level service back then when you were at home. You had a designated space. You had all the implements, all the tools, and you always included the healthy hair care before the service. So I knew you were going to get a salon. So that's part of it. You got to build it up beforehand, but you could definitely do it, and it's easy um, to accomplish. So game plan. Um, what I recommend is if um, anyone wants to get started with being successful in the industry, sometimes you might need to take a break. You might need to pause and refresh and revamp. And what you're going to realize is... Um, if you don't have a plan, you plan to fail. People say that all the time, but it's so true. Um, that may be why you may get to these moments where you feel like you want to stop. I'm going to be honest. I stopped maybe two or three times in my career. Um, after high school, I was doing Senegalese twists exclusively, like Senegalese twists, kinky twists, um, a lot of twist styles, whatever they were, Havana twists. That was my thing. 
And then my client base moved away. Um, and so I went to customer service roles, corporate America. And then I left corporate America, you know, tried to do it for myself again. And it just was taking a little while to take off. So, you know, I revamped. I actually came up with a brand because I didn't have a name at first. I was just like putting my name out there. This was at the beginning of social media before it really became a thing. Um, when social media did come out, I branded with my name, Desi Krishan. And I made sure that I posted regularly, but um, it just wasn't gaining traction like I wanted it to. So I stopped, went back to work. And then life happened. And it was like a series of events that put me in a position to go full time. And that's when it all clicked and came together. It was just the perfect timing. But definitely, if you're going to take a break, what would have made my breaks more strategic, more uh, effective was if I knew my why and I had a game plan behind it. So I would say if you're going to stop, you need to plan it all out, like plan your process and your exit before you get there. Like, OK, I'm going to a call center because I can interact with all the people in there. There's a lot of touch points that I can see everybody. I know right now with COVID, most jobs aren't really like, you know, the call center jobs are having you be at home. But there are some that are still open, but just with social distancing in place. But, you know, pick a place where you run into a lot of people, where you could be your calling card, where you can style your own hair or get your hair done and always represent yourself. Have your cards on you, pass them out. Say, yeah, I'm a stylist. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, working right now to get a few things together. But that's what I'm doing. This is like a little short stint for me. But this is what I do. And build your brand. Choose a niche. Um, if you haven't gained traction yet, I definitely recommend picking something to be um, a master of because it's going to be hard if you are trying to do everything and everything hasn't been perfected yet because you haven't had enough clientele. I forgot what they said. This says like a thousand hours or something like that that you need or a hundred thousand, something like that. It might have even been a million, but they said it's so many hours of practice that you need before you become an expert with something. So if you haven't had if you haven't had the experiences with the clientele, there's no way that you could become an expert in it because it just comes from repetition and doing it. So I would say pick one thing to master and then what you would want to do with that is make it unique. Because there's plenty of people that do that thing, like knotless braids. That's popular right now. Plenty of people do it. Find your niche. For me, Healthy hair care is my niche. So including the healthy hair care and the hair with it is my niche. Clients who have long hair, short hair, they want to grow it, thick hair, thin hair, problem hair, they come to me because they want their hair cared for. And then I give them a protective style that will, you know, help them achieve their goal of growing their hair. Um, another thing I would say is if you're planning on going to work, research how much training is going to be because you have to invest in yourself. Most trainers are anywhere from 200 to 500 upwards of that sometimes and that's what the best stylists do they invest in their craft plenty of women take classes to learn a new skill to sharpen the skill they may already have that's going to be your secret weapon because time is the other factor like if you have plenty of time on your hands you can perfect your craft but we don't have time so you can shortcut your time with the money you're willing to invest in yourself um so that goes into knowing your numbers whatever numbers you come up with and when I say numbers, I mean booth rent, what that's going to be, um, what it's going to cost to get your logo made, what it's going to cost to get your branding done, your aprons, your capes, any products you may want to add on like scarves, um, bonnets, your mats, I don't know, anything you want to use to personalize your brand, thank you cards, whatever those numbers come up to be, multiply them times three, and that's your game plan of how much you need to acquire before you're able to leave that job and then go into doing hair full time. Set a time frame. I think a realistic one is anywhere from six to 12 months starting off. And I say work while you work. When I say that, I mean carry your cards with you, find your weekends to do clients, build your website while you're there, get your social media intact. Like do what you gotta do, work. Post on social media regularly as well too. Even though you're not doing hair all the time, like post inspiration, say this is what I wanna do, who wants it, whatever. Okay. so. Building skills and money. That's what also led to me creating the Boss Lab. I wanted to create a place where people could earn and learn at the same time. Um, I know salons do offer apprentice opportunities or you can go to beauty school. 
Um, and if you get financial aid, you can receive a check to help you like live. You can use that check to go toward your expenses for building your brand. Um, or you can find a place where you can apprentice and earn money and also learn skills too. Now, a lot of apprentice opportunities will require you to have a full license. So that's just something to consider. Um, you could also assist at a salon, be a shampoo tech. That's an option. Or you could find a dope part-time, which is something I did right out of high school. I worked at Victoria's Secret. I worked at Macy's. I worked at Charlotte Roos, Crew 21. And those were places where it was high traffic. And I did my own hair. So when people came in and they asked me a question, you know, in the midst of selling them or something, I'm like, hey, your hair looks great. Or, who, you know, your braids look great. Do you get braids all the time? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm actually a stylist, you know, um, you know, in my part-time outside of here so here's one of my cards I would love to service you and have a special maybe for people that you meet in those settings I don't know be creative um, or you can apply to work at the DVA boss lab which like I said is designed to help you grow your building I'm sorry not your building your business so you can start from the ground up it doesn't matter what um, phase you are we have courses for beginners intermediates and advanced and um, it's really tailored to you and what you need. So these are the types of things you want to be able to fit into your budget. Branding materials like business cards, scarves, your apron, and your cape for your clients. And then you want to be able to get into a space if you're not able to do this at home. Because remember, like I said, you can definitely be at home and provide top tier service. I know some bomb stylists that work at home and I was one of them. The only reason I even got my salon was because some things changed for me and I needed a place to do hair in a short period of time. And it was something I was planning on doing anyway. So it all just kind of fell together and the universe pushed it into being. It pushed it into fruition. So, but um, yeah. And when you do acquire those things, make sure you post them on social media because people see it and they're like, oh wow, she's in a shop now. That's really dope. That's actually an example in the lower right hand corner of a post that you can do. A lot of people do it and people love it to see you doing something progressive with your life. So, like I said again, niching down so you can boss up is really important. My niche is healthy hair care. A lot of my clients look like this beautiful lady on the left hand side. They have natural hair, they want to protect their hair, they want low maintenance hairstyles, things that they don't have to worry with. Um, and I take the time to do it. I'll go as small as the picture to the right. But my that's my thing that I use to stand out versus blending in. And that's why I use the chameleon. Because you want to stand out. Chameleons usually blend into their environments. You don't want to fall into that trap. Think of something that can make you unique with your niche. Okay. Now, these are um, some things I wanted to kind of share. Um, healthy hair care. We have a whole, like training on it and it's more products than this that are in it but these are staples for any um like protective styling specialist any braider this moisture spray this triple third moisture spray will like if you don't um do the you know shampoo beforehand you don't have to this is a dry shampoo it is an awesome detangler and it's a moisturizer so you can spray that on the hair if they didn't like blow dry it to your liking and blow it out Put some of that booster on their scalp. It's going to feel minty like they just got shampooed with some peppermint spray. But their hair will be so soft and it will be emulsified and it will stay moisturized within the braid. So when they take their hair out, it won't be brittle and dry. And a detangling brush is everything. Like, I love that brush. But the other thing that this triple third moisture spray does is it breaks down the buildup when people are ready to... Um, take their actual braids out. It'll get that build up off because it has apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil in it and they work to break down any build up. Um, also, we have long natural hair growth system, which I would say is the equivalent of like the flat tummy tea. Um, any of these like total life changes is that, but for hair. So we're gonna dig a little deeper. This is what you can do with the braider essentials. They're all, you can purchase them from me. I'm an authorized. Um, retailer for these products. Now, I give these to my clients included with the service because I use these products on my clients 
and that's just a little tidbit of what you can do just a little um gem for how you can you know effectively increase your prices um but make it worth it so that's not you know i include the health, hair care so i include these products because i retail them i have them on hand but definitely you can get them for a reduced amount they go for fifteen dollars the boosters fifteen dollars um the flex brush is fifteen dollars the moisture spray is fifteen dollars you can get it for the discounted rate of six dollars the booster and sell it for anywhere from twelve to fifteen dollars if you want to sell it individually like that other thing you can do is just add it into your price just add twenty dollars into your price or add thirty dollars into your price and give them a booster and a spray and that'll add like another level to your service they're like oh i got these hair care products with it and they work great they make your life easier if you ever have to detangle somebody's hair who wasn't like blow dried sufficiently or prepared for the style and it'll save you so much time instead of having to go through and do a whole shampoo so i definitely recommend these if you're interested in um being able to retail these products if you've ever um you know gotten your hair done by me and you've experienced the shampoo you experience these products on your hair you know that they feel so great and your clients will love them so i um have a way for you all to get them for a discounted rate if that's something that you want to do it's super discounted um and this is how it works i know it's some clients that may be watching it too but that's how business works it gets um you know it gets um increased but that's so we can afford it's the cost of goods sold that's all part of business but um it's definitely worth every penny and that is a way that you can increase your pricing without going too crazy so that's something that's built into the process at the boss lab all right now long natural hair growth system this is um something i developed during the pandemic when we were not able to do hair so i was like i got all these products and my way of selling my products was with my clients i would use the products throughout the service and talk about the benefits of them how they work why we're using it what it's going to do and that's how i would sell it but when i had no clients to sell to i was like shoot i still gotta move this stuff um so i decided i was like wouldn't it be dope if it was like a um system like how the t's are and how the weight loss systems are i was like what if i created a system for growing your hair long so um healthy hair care if you're passionate about it you care about it you can become a brand ambassador for long natural hair growth system and earn a commission which i probably should have led with that but there you go you can earn a commission for everything you sell and these are the payouts below so it's probably similar to what it would be if you were selling something like a tea or something maybe more but um if that's something you're interested in doing the link is in the um description and your clients whoever buys from you they can restock on bestdetanglingbrush.com um, if you are interested in coming to the boss lab and like doing that brand building, just taking your business from A to Z, which is these are the steps. The beginners would do everything from sharpening your skills all the way to the end of opening your own salon. And that's a pretty much probably 12 month process. If you're intermediate, that means you don't need help with sharpening your skills. You don't need help with building your brand. You already have a logo. You may need a little help with increasing your prices um, and adding on retail. So everything from that point on is included for intermediate and for advanced. You already have clientele, so that's not the issue. Everything on the right hand side is the concern. Improving customer service, transitioning maybe from home to salon, from salon to suite or learning how to open up your salon in school. Now, what we're doing is we're working on some franchise opportunities. So this model is going to be duplicatable and it'll be something that you'll be able to do if you are interested in owning your own salon slash school space i feel like this is the best way to do it because it prepare i mean i'm not gonna give away all the the intel i'll talk about it later but that's just a little something if you want some insider information go ahead and join the Dreamcatcher society the link for that is inside of the um description as well um it is a group that we have on facebook um, you're welcome to join if you feel you have valuable information to share. Um, and if you feel like you want to gain from the group, you can join as well. And it's lots of great information, lots of talented stylists in the group. Um, we have a mentor program inside of the group, so you can find someone that you want to learn from. 
or you can find someone that you feel like you can teach. You can find an area that you feel like you're very proficient at and share expertise on it, share information. But we are working to grow a very supportive and collaborative network um, of stylists and um, creative professionals. So if that sounds like something you want to do, go ahead and join us. We'd love to have you. And I want to thank you for watching this little presentation I was practicing because I'm working on some things and this was my like little practice round. I felt kind of good because I didn't use any cue cards or anything to do this and I felt really authentic delivering this information. So this is something that we teach as well at the Boss Lab. Um, but I'm excited about the, the path that we're on and the things that we have like in progress and in development. And I just want to put this out here for you guys. If you're interested, go ahead, jump on it. Um, opportunities at the Boss Lab are limited, but they are on a rolling, like kind of um, rolling status or like kind of set up, you know, every six months, kind of like that, because you have to give whoever is in the Boss Lab that time to develop their brand. Some people may move faster. Some people may need a little more help, but we definitely have things for you. And like I said, we have a Knotless Braids class coming up on October the 17th. You will be completing a full head. In this class, you will learn healthy hair care. You're going to learn um, infection control. You're going to get certified at that class. Um, all your tools and utensils are included. Refreshments are included. And um, we're going to talk about brand building and kind of get into the beginning part of picking your niche you know, what do you want to focus on? Um, kind of get you going with the beginner portion of the things I covered in this little presentation today. So again, thank you for tuning in. Remember, every day above ground is a good day, so make it count. And my mantra that I share on my YouTube channel, if you would like to follow, my personal one is um, Cherokee Diamond. And it just says, if life is but a dream where we wonder what stars are, Let's make it a wondrous night because lone stars are great, but the best settings feature multiple brights. That just means um, winning is better when it's with a team. Who cares that you're at the podium by yourself? It's better when it's other people around you doing the same exact thing. Our light enhances the light of others. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, until next time, like I said, remember every day above ground is a good day, so make it